So welcome everyone to the first of three conversations with notable scientists here at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. My name is Jeff Miller, I'm the Head of Public Affairs and your host. Please welcome Omar Yagi, Head of the Molecular Foundry. What is it about chemistry that I need to know that's going to make me realize that it has value? Chemistry is really about atoms and how atoms are connected in space. And uh, of course, uh, a lot of things that we see around us are made of uh, molecules, atoms that make molecules, and molecules that assemble to make larger objects. So I think chemists in general like to dig deeper beneath the, uh, the, 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 the world that we see. I, mean, I think they are really enamored by the hidden, what I call the hidden world. What is behind a phenomena? What is, you know, why does a material behave in the way it does? And not just why, but also how do we make it better? How do we, um, how do we change it? So, so chemistry is not just about what I said, it's not just about the atoms and how they're connected, but also how they transform into other things. You know, for example, a chemist could twist around an atom and a molecule and turn a molecule from being a poison into medicine. So it's that type of control that you want to have on, the, on this hidden world to allow you to, to do beneficial things. And we're all chemists equally curious about this inorganic, organic fusion, if I may call it that? I think most, most chemists are, um, yeah, I mean, maybe the feelings I'm, I've just expressed, maybe not uncommon among chemists. I think we're all excited about this exploration and discovery, trying to find out how we can make new things and what are these new things going to do. We were trying to address a challenge of how do you take molecules, the makeup of things, the makeup of living things and, and, and synthetic things, how do you take these building units and stitch them together into variously shaped uh, molecules and extended structures? Uh, that has much wider impact than just making a good material for, you know, storing natural gas. So a metal organic framework, uh, MOFs, I believe they are called. So tell, tell me about them. And again, you talked about the impact and the impact on society and the public. What can they do for us? Well, MOFs, uh, as they are now called, essentially they are they're porous uh, crystals, or some people call them porous sponges. And so they, they can store um, the first, let's say, wave of applications is, deals with storing of, uh, storage of gases. So just to make it uh, uh, really a simple analogy, is that if you take, let's say, a container filled with a MOF, you can store more gas in that container than a container that doesn't have MOF, which seems a little strange and like magic. But the reason you can store more gas is because by virtue of having the MOF material being attractive to that gas, you can stack gas molecules within their pores a lot closer than those gas molecules would be had the material not been there. Gas molecules like to stay away from each other. They repel each other. Mm -hmm. But when, by virtue of having the MOF material act like a honey, in a honeycomb, you can assemble gas molecules and stack them, let's say, as you would uh, stack cars in a car park, closer to each other, overcoming their repulsions and therefore storing more gas. So capturing carbon, for example. Capturing carbon is another, is another potential uh, application. There's a lot of interest right now in uh, uh, using MOFs, specially designed MOFs by virtue of the chemistry that is being developed now by many groups around the world of tweaking the substituents on the, on the components in such a way as to seek out just carbon dioxide from among a host of other gases like nitrogen and oxygen that exist all around mm -hmm. us. So to be able to create a material that can seek out a small molecule like carbon dioxide from other molecules like it, other gas molecules that look very similar in size and shape to, CO, to carbon dioxide is, is quite clever of that material. Okay, and perhaps so, of the chemist too. And hopefully this then would have impact. 
on, there's a lot of interest because MOFs are easy to make. They're, they've been demonstrated to be scaled up to multi-ton quantities. Many things, many of the good things you need to see in a material exist in, in these, in some of these MOFs. I'd like you all to please thank Omar Yagi for appearing with us today. Thank you.